but it's all mine. Let's. Um, so today's video was actually requested by somebody, um, was actually requested for anyone transferring or just enrolling into Augusta University. So someone asked me basically to just do a, a pros and cons of the school to try to help some of you guys who are like borderline on if you should come um, to Augusta University or not. So this isn't gonna be a banger. Um, also, this is probably going to be the beginning of like filler, if that makes sense. I'm still gonna try to push uh, some good content out there, but you know, this quarantine thing was really delaying the grind. And you know, I just, I'm, I'm trying. So I, that's all I want y'all to know is that I'm trying. Uh, I'm still gonna try to post a lot of stuff, but just you know, stay tuned for sure. Um, all my good stuff, you gotta get that, yeah. So, but, um, yeah. So I'm just gonna do some pros and cons. Number one, my list is not in order. So it's just pros and then just cons. There's no like top 10 pros or top 10. I just figured that'd be easier. Cause I can't, I, I made the list in like five minutes and I can't even list them. I can't even list them in order, so. I'm just gonna roll with it. Looks like we're starting with cons. Number one, uh, the dorms are not by the main campus. Yeah, so if you live in housing, which is still great by the way, um, you have a separate campus, um, separate from the main campus being Somerville. And so you take a bus, they have transportation, they have buses there. Um, if you have your car, of course you can drive but there is a entire bus system in place so where you can get from one campus to another campus. The campus, honestly, on the bus for real, it is actually like seven or eight minutes away, but I kid you not, it really feels like four minutes because once you do it for a lot, it really isn't bad either. So on the health and science campus is where the freshman building is located being Oak. Um, also the graduate building being Elm, and that's where, I mean, you freshman, you're gonna live in Oak for sure. <laughs> for sure this year, cause of us. But um, that'll be where you live. So I put that on the con list because I know like every other school really, your dorm is on the campus. So you can just walk to school, or whatever, yada, yada. Like we can't do that. So that's kind of a con. It really sucks low key, but like it is kind of cool at the same time. It depends on where you look at it. I kind of see it as a con cause I thought, I can, I feel like I could just benefit more from it being on campus, so. Number two, there's not that many dining halls. Yeah, there is two separate like areas and there's all good. And there is, what's the other one? And then the JSAC. And so the JSAC is the main one. I don't even know, dang. See, I haven't been in school in like so long, I forgot the places. I almost said Buffalo Wild Wings, wow. There's basically, it's like a American style place there. They have burgers, chicken sandwiches, tenders, fries, and that type of stuff. Quesadillas, wraps, yada, yada, yada right here, and it's in the same area I'm talking about. Sushi place over here, there's pizza right here, um, like some healthy sandwiches and like turkey and ham and stuff like that. And then right here, there's a smoothie place, which actually doubles as Starbucks, to be honest. That's one, and then the other building is the same thing, but less, so they don't have like the main like American style place I was talking about, but like that, that's it really. So yeah, I feel like there should be more dining halls. They could easily have more dining halls, in my opinion. That's just me though. We don't have a football team and we don't have a soccer team. I wanted to put soccer in there because I know someone would have been like, ah, you didn't put soccer, but it really is football to be honest. Like, I, soccer's great, but nobody really cares about soccer. Now, we don't have a football team. I don't think we're gonna get one in the next like five years. My information is not as good as someone else's. Then again, I am a student athlete, so I understand how that process works. And it's not as easy to get a football team as people think it is. Um, cause that would change a lot about the school. Um, I mean, I'm not going to say it's impossible though. Just give it time if you really want it, you know? Number four, financial aid. Financial aid. God, this is going to be everyone's favorite part. Oh my God. I think they actually owe me money now that I'm thinking about it. 
Um, our financial aid is not the best. I won't call it trash. I won't call it trash. But it it could be better. I'll just say that it could be better. I don't remember who, um, but one of my a few of my friends actually have had an encounter, and some of them just came off like. That could be better. Financial aid could be better. Number, whoo, my numbers. Number six. Number five. Um, we don't have a. This is kind of like personal to me, but not really at the same time. So we don't have a track. But um, yes, we have a track team, but we don't have a track. It's prayers that it's going to be in place in the near future. Um, and the reason why I put that is because I feel like a track can benefit everyone, you know? A track isn't like, uh, what's the sport for things? Like a baseball field that the only, the baseball team can use. It actually can be used by like anyone, you know? Um, and our track team is really good. So like, I feel like we, if, if we had to have a tryout to prove whether we needed a track or not, I feel like we would have, we would have made the team, if that makes sense. Um, this is a funny one. Number six, Augusta smell. I feel like the school is not the issue. It's the city. Um, I know the dorms, the health and science dorms I was just talking about, where the freshmen live, being Oak Hall, over there, you're gonna smell it, especially over the summer. Or at least, well, I started school in the summer. So from June to like September, you're gonna smell it. Now when it starts getting a little windy, the smell will go away, but it smells like dead squirrels, hot dog water, hot mayonnaise, and barbecue sauce all together. With a stench of garbage. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a garbage transplant, but then someone also said it's a meat facility. I've heard something, I, I don't know. You know that face that ever, like people make when they be like, but no, um, other than that, yeah, the smell is just, it's, it, it doesn't bother me anymore, but like, I, cause I think I went nose blind to it, but no, in the beginning, it was really bad. Um, the seventh one and my last one, cause I really couldn't think of that many. The area that Augusta is located in is not bad. It really isn't bad at all, but it's, I don't think I realized this until I got there, but the first biggest city in Georgia obviously is Atlanta, that, 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 everyone knows that. The second is Augusta, I didn't know that. And it's not close to number one, but it's far from three, four, and five, if that makes sense. So that was very like odd, but somebody just drove past my house and they were driving really slowly. Ah, tire's probably flat, what a loser. The area isn't bad, I won't say that, but the area is just like, there's not much, like there is, but there isn't. I'll get into what there is for the pros, but there's a city very nearby named Evans. Evans is like, I've been there a few times. I've, I've been there a good bit, but I feel like if Augusta was located in Evans, then it would, I don't know. But all the people that live in Augusta say, some people say that Augusta is different from Evans. Some people say Evans is in Augusta, I don't know. That's all I have for the cons, for the pros. Go ahead and like, go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment um, if you have anything. I especially a lot of questions. I know this is going to be a video that a lot of people are going to have a lot of questions on. So if you want, definitely, you know, slide me the questions. I will actually respond to you ASAP. Let's get this started. First thing I have is the environment. So I say a lot of times that Augusta is friendly and I get like, it's, I don't want to say it's a different type of friendly, but it kind of is like the friendliness there and I'm a friendly person So when I know like friendly when I see it, I'm not saying a lot of schools wouldn't have it But I know like Augusta definitely has it. So I feel like the school is still pretty diverse I mean, it'll tell you that on the websites and stuff like that, but whatever it's kind of it I feel like it's diverse enough. I don't even know. I'm not gonna get into the numbers But it's diverse enough. I feel like the size is like Obviously it's smaller than Georgia State, it's smaller than Kennesaw, it's smaller than Georgia Southern. It's probably about the size of like North Georgia, around bigger than Truett McConnell, probably definitely smaller than Savannah State. Why did I even put that in the pros? I personally don't like humongous schools, so I wouldn't go to one. Now that I go to a smaller school, like it feels like I actually, like it's kind of cool seeing the same people every day and like different 
when you can see the area the area okay so the area i put on the cons because you know i said it could be better in like evans for an example but the area that is in does have a lot to offer at the same time there is a movie theater a mall if you know what sky zone is there's a place like sky zone but there's a bowling alley i said the mall a crap ton of restaurants and a necessary amount of restaurants dang that really is right now nah there's a river walk um there's like 12 museums a lot of like nature places you can go to. I know the school has like access basically to a lake that you can go kayaking on. Um, I actually just remembered that off the top of my head. Never did it, but I'm actually gonna go do that one day. I feel like that's it really, as far as the area, yeah. Number three, the tuition is not like cheap, cheap, like $500 cheap, but it's definitely cheaper than like the other schools that I was looking at. like. It was cheaper than Shorter. It was cheap, wow, it was cheaper than Truett, cheaper than Southern, cheaper than Kennesaw. I mean, so you get the idea. It's definitely cheaper. I'd say by like 8,000 to like 13,000. For the tutoring aspect, it's kind of good too. Um, there's an entire building kind of like dedicating for tutoring. So if you're an athlete, like they have a like separate thing that you can do for them and to make sure that you're like on track with your work. I know a lot of sports have like mandatory hours you have to do. Um, like you have to do like six hours a week and stuff like that. The building is good. So if you ever get like behind on school, that's something you can always do. Um, there's also a writing center there that they can help you with your papers. Number five. Number five is actually kind of off to me i don't know but like the dorms there are actually way better than and i've seen i'm only saying this because i've seen like i have friends that go to kennesaw and georgia state and southern and like all the schools i've named in the video and their dorms do not look nearly even okay so i stayed in the graduates building so that's why my dorm was that good but even like the freshman building that i would have stayed in still like maybe it's just me because i know like some small things like okay like their dorms like say at kennesaw i think it is where like your dorms is like like your wall it's like a brick wall like it's a decorated wall is what i'm trying to say the beds are like i mean it's a twin size bed but there's still like updated beds like it's a newer bed um or a mattress at least yeah the, it's just cleaner it's just newer and that's something i feel like a lot of people like so <laughs> Number six, so I put the masters because I know it lets you like apply to work at the masters first. And I think you can do it around like September. You can start applying. I didn't apply, I wanted to at first, but then I, I'd rather do something else over spring break um, because it's over spring break, or at least it was going to be. And so I didn't end up doing it, but I know that they let you apply like earlier before anybody else. So they employ a lot of students and I know like I worked with this one girl that did it two years ago now. And like, I know like Snoop Dogg was there. So you'll see if, depending on your job, depending on your job, you'll see some famous people there. Um, mostly just like rich people. I don't know if they're famous, but just rich. Um, I mean, obviously Tiger Woods, but also I know they make like, 1500 that week. Yeah, but well, my friend Brooke said she made like 1500 that week. Um, I've heard like people at the school too have made like 1700 in the week. Um, they tip insanely high. So that's good. I'm, I might do it. I don't know. Don't, I don't know. I, I have a job already, so I'm not really focused on that. Um, I put like the area and safety for number seven. I know if you live on the health and science, um, campus, the police station is literally walking distance there. And that's not Augusta police. That's Augusta university's police department. So it's for the school. Um, I know they can do like, cause your parking lot is all, so my gosh, that's a huge con. I don't even know the word, but they can bring you from like the parking lot, which is right across the street from the police uh, department to your dorm. It's like a two minute drive. Escorts, yeah, yeah. Safe environment, well, not even that, but like health wise too, there's literally, there's three hospitals within five minutes of the school. Two, you can walk to eight. The medical field and, the, and then the technology field. I only put these because I know those are two like really like big areas at Augusta now. So um, I don't really have much to talk on that, but I do know that um, it's it's good fields to go in, um, whether that be biology, chemistry, um, all the ologies. Technology is good too. They just built within the past two three years an entire like cyber center downtown. 
and it's like in, in the building's insane um you're gonna have to look that up. i think it's the nathan deal something the nathan deal building something like that nine oh i put it as kind of easy to get in um it's not easy but it's not hard i think it, i think it's around like if you're in high school applying i don't know about college transferring but i know for a high school applicant it's like a 3.0 GPA, I think, around there, maybe, maybe a 3.2. I think you can make like an 1100 on the SAT, which would equivalent to maybe like a 2021 on the ACT. And that should be all right. And then if not, then I think you could still get in. Professors are actually like really chill. I've only had one professor that has actually been like trash. Um, and even then, like he still tried, he just did too much i don't know yeah and i completely threw off my mojo um i really just said mojo but yeah no the professors are chill um a lot of them are actually like not like cool professors but like kind of cool people so last thing i have for like pros was that um the school's really good at like equipping you like a lot of times people want to do stuff not like clubs and like volunteer stuff and stuff like that but you also want to do like your own thing and you need like an outlet to do stuff like that like i feel like the school or at least the people there are really good at like getting you to like where you need to be the donation drive that my friend started i mean yeah he alone got in contact with the salvation army and did that but to have an outlet to like do it through the school um which isn't a club it's not it's his own like idea and an, an entire event at the school to do it they made it into like a really cool like contest to where like it was like the freshman class versus sophomores and whoever donated them more just stuff like that basically what i'm trying to say is like if you ever have your own like hobbies or like interest or like something you want to do um, I would recommend like talking to people there because I know a lot of people there like share your same interests. So I know you can definitely like combine y'all's ideas and mindset and then boom, you have a big grand idea. I think that's it. I really didn't plan on doing that much for this video. Um, I didn't even plan on like making jokes or anything. I just wanted to make this video ready to just inform people. So I can definitely do honorable mentions for the things that I know people want to talk about. Okay, parking is one thing I forgot to say. Parking is kind of a hassle. I don't know if they just made it or not, but they have a lot for freshmen that live in Oak. It's like a gravel parking lot. And that's the one I said that's across from the police department that you also could, you have a bus to take. And it's a different, Wow, Alex, y'all, you'll understand that when you get there. Basically, the parking is kind of trash, and they don't have a select parking lot on the health and science campus that you can just go to, like walk to your car. There's a parking deck. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, you can kind of finesse your way to the parking deck. I did that the entire semester for the past like three months, and never got a like two parking tickets, but like I ain't paid. But um, as long as you're not in a parking area, like in an area that you shouldn't be, I think you'll be straight. But I know you can use, you can use the parking deck as long as you don't park in an area that is already like bought or like owned or has a sign by it. There's some empty places where the sign has been removed. You can park there. Um, sometimes you can park in front of the building. I know on weekends, they let you park from like Friday night until like, actually until Monday until five in the morning, you can park in front of Oak or M, so parking is definitely an issue. I don't even know if they're working on it. On the main campus though, it's really not that bad. It's possible for all the spots to be taken up, but that's like super rare. Parties, parties are mostly done by the baseball team, sororities, and frats. So there's a party planner group called Squad 10X, and they are like the party planner like group for the school. Um, it's really a bunch of upperclassmen that just, they rent out areas and then they throw parties basically. Um, they're actually really cool people too. I'm friends with a few of them. I mean, I'll go to a party, but I'm not a party person. Um, that's something if you want to do, you can do that. They're not, they're really not even trash parties. One thing I will say though, if you do end up going to a party, you cannot complain about a party. Even if you guys just do like your own little like house party stuff, you cannot complain about a party being lit if you're not trying to do anything yourself. Cause I know there's been a lot of times like my friend Ryan, has done like house parties like okay we'll go in there and it's not lit and we'll just try to like dance or something like that just to get people to like start and stuff like that so you can't care that's all i gotta say it's, it's a party bro like either dance or don't either get lit or don't but i feel like if you're not going to there's no point in going either you you go and you go all out loud or you don't go that's just the way i see it because then you're wasting your time and you dressed up you got a whole fit 
all that for nothing. So that's just I'm just saying. There's definitely parties there. Definitely good ones if you're looking for that. The best way to describe Augusta, Augusta definitely is in like that weird area where it's no longer like a smaller, weaker school, but it's not on that D1 like experience level it's like in the middle and they're kind of like pushing towards getting there but it's gonna take time i feel like that's the kind of cool thing i like about it too definitely after the whole like regrowth period and now that they're starting to like add in new features into the school and just start to like slowly make the school even better and better and better and it'll just start being more popular i know the school's population is also growing every year my freshman class was uh the biggest like freshman class in the school's history so I know that they're still booming. It's just gonna take time. Yeah, I mean, that's it really. That's all I have. I say that same phrase every time. Um, if you have questions, drop them in the comments. I don't know what I'm gonna do for my next video. I don't even know when I'm gonna do my next video. There, I know a lot of people like a lot of Augusta stuff, so I'll try to do some more stuff like that. If you like this video or anything that I said, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, like, comment, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching.